Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and uh, I've been asked a couple times how I made the stitching effect uh, in some of my artwork so I'm about to show you how to do that. Um, so what I've done is I've created uh, my GS Helper uh, font here and I put a, a nice um, backing behind it of white but now I want white stitching and uh, it's fairly simple to do. Um, what you do is you select your font um, you want to make sure that uh, if you just use a regular font, you want to go Object, Flat, and Transparency, or you can right-click on it and uh, Create Outline. Um, so that way you get a nice um, selected outline opposed to just the edited font, because that won't work if you do that. So you got to do that this way. Um, actually, actually, what I'll do is I'll show you real quickly. So you have your font there, um, like this. And what you want to do is you want to right-click and Create Outline, so that way you have it like this. Um, okay, once you've done that, you're going to select this. And you need to get, you know, um, an exact copy of the inside of this for stitching. So what you want to do is you want to select your font and you want to go Paths, Offset Path. And if you wanted to go bigger, you'd do an, um, a positive number. But we want to go inside, so we're going to do a negative number. So let's try negative 10. Uh, I'm going to hit Preview. Um, so that outline there is where my stitching would be. I think that's a little too far in, so I'm going to try 8. Um, and then uncheck Preview, Preview again. That's probably pretty good, so I'm going to hit OK. So now it's selected inside, and I'm going to go and I'm going to select a color. So I'm going to take that color off there, and for the outline color, I'm going to choose white for my stitching. So now, as you can see, it's a solid white, and we want to make it stitching. So over here in the stroke area, I'm probably going to make it uh, probably 1.5. So I'm going to go 1.5. So it's a little thicker. And now what you want to do is you want to check the box that says dashed lines. And that's going to create your dashed lines. And then for the dash points, you can choose how far apart your dashes will be. I'm going to try maybe 8. Um that's probably a little too far apart so, or too close I mean I'm gonna do 10 and that seems okay and now I'm gonna show you here that it's a little square a um, little too crisp for being um, a stitch so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna back out of that and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose the rounded edges for both of these things here and now when I click off again you'll see there are little rounder edges nice little uh, stitching there and I think they're, they're too close so I'm actually gonna try again and I'm gonna go into here and I'm gonna do 10 I think yeah there we go so that's better and that's how you get a stitching effect in um, Adobe Illustrator fairly simple and you can play around with that um, uh, change the settings up till it's something that suits your your artwork but uh, that's all you need to know and uh, good luck